this is going to be movie two for you and I'm going to take the first day handout and I'm going to go advance the first day handout until we get to the page where we see the weekly schedule. And in the weekly schedule, I want to see how this correlates with the Canvas page. And then this is your introduction to Canvas. For those of you that haven't been on, or even those of you that have been on, I think you better watch this. And let's um, then email me any questions that you have. But I'm going to minimize this right now. And I'm going to go into Canvas. So I'm going to click. I use um, Google Chrome. And I'm going to use Google Chrome here to click on my Macomb. You can go to macomb.edu like I just did. And now for those of you that have never been in, um, hopefully you can get into your My Macomb. That's normally how you just register for classes. So I'm clicking it and I'm going to go into My Macomb page, but um, I'll come back up because you can see my buttons that I push on screen. So I'm going to pause it right now and I'll be back in a second and I'll be into my, my own My Macomb. Okay, now I'm into My Macomb and you can see how um, this is your page that you have for you students, just so you would know. Um, I am going to show you where to get your program plans from. And if you ever have to come to my office to talk about your courses with me during the fall and winter semester, that's cool. My office is R115 at South Campus. But let me click to where you would click to um, um, current and former students and then you would go to your academic profile and you see where you can get your program plan You should go see an academic advisor and you should declare one of these programs Like I'm going to bring this up and it says um, that I can go anywhere to the media and communication arts any of these ones here You can actually see what classes you've taken so you always want to go pretty much not to the certificate But let me go to the design one. Let me find it here first um, there's Design um, Associates of Applied Science. So if I wanted to just get a um, and see what the program plan was, I would click Submit and then I would be fine. But I'm going to go back to the Macomb menu. So um, we'll talk about that when you come to my office and I can actually help you make your program plan since this is like almost the first class you guys have taken in MACA. Maybe it's the second semester. You should declare your program as soon as possible. But this movie was to how to navigate in Canvas. So I'm going to close the current and former students and let's go to the Canvas button. In the Canvas button, you are given the, um, the dashboard. So when you come up to this first dashboard, it says student introduction to Canvas. Are you new to Canvas is what it's saying right up here. See that? So what you should do if you're new to it is go into the student introduction to Canvas and it'll show you how to get into Canvas. This is my Canvas, so now I'm going to go to my courses. You might have a course button up here on top, but I'm going to go to my course and then I'm going to go into the course that is this summer's course and let's see how the first day handout correlates to um, the um, module section where you're going to find all of your assignments. So over here on the left, you have all of these things called announcements, assignments, discussions, grades. You really only have to ever pay attention to this home page, okay? And in the home page, it has my information, my office hours during the week when I'm there for the fall and winter semester. Um, and these aren't updated right now, but they will be my, by Monday. So you can actually click if you want to, my Brian Sorial introduction movie. You can download the syllabus that, look, I'm gonna move this over slightly. See the syllabus that's right up here, up in my upper corner? What happens when you click this button is that same syllabus will download to your desktop. Now, I've already emailed you that same syllabus or first day handout, it's the same thing. Um, then I want you to watch the MACA 1320 first day movie for the handout and syllabus. This paragraph right here may change um, by Monday morning just because I'm actually creating these three movies. Um, I told you you were going to get two movies. You're going to get three movies. The first movie was, of course, the first day handout. The second movie is Canvas. And the third movie is going to be a real short one, but it's going to be what I expect of you this semester and um, a walkthrough of um, different issues and aspects that may come up during the semester. But let's get back to movie two. So you're going to click on modules as soon as you get into Canvas to where you want your, um, your find your courses. 
Course and general information is up here and you can even click on the student examples PDF that I told you in the first movie. That way, and I'll just show you what's gonna happen. You click here, then you click, it'll show up in here, but if you click right here, it will actually download to your desktop. So you can see right now it's downloading, the student examples is downloading right over here. If I open it up, I'm getting the PDF, but you can actually go through the PDF if you want to. You don't have to, but I'm gonna go back um, just to show you that that's kind of how Canvas works. But now let's go down to gen generic week one. I do want you to watch my Photoshop one playing, all of you, even you who have Photoshop experience, I want you to click this in generic week one, and then I want you to watch um, the, I'm not gonna go through it because you're gonna watch it, but selections and paths and layers and channels all those four things are really important to Photoshop. So in generic week one, please watch this movie. It's the Photoshop week one playing movie. And if you look quickly over here where I'm actually clicking right there, um, I'm gonna go back one step because I just want that one on the screen. So let me go back to that so I just get the, the picture here. There are ways that when you draw something in Photoshop, it can have different properties. It can fill on the inside or it can fill on the outside. And that's what these pictures are. And then two shapes can actually do an intersection or an exclusion, an addition or a subtraction. Now forget everything I just said. That's why I want you to watch that first movie. So let's go back now to the generic week one and let's go ahead to where the web assets are. So um, I'm gonna skinny this down so I can go like that and move it over. And then I'm gonna bring up the first day handout. And I'm going to show you that if I click on here, you have week one, I'll move it over even farther. Week one is the web page asset that I'm showing you right there where I'm circling, okay, right there. There is this, um, the whole week one module. Now, where you always will submit an assignment is in the top one. So I'm going to click on it. When I click on it, I'm gonna get something different than you get on screen. I get published and edit, you get submit, okay? And there's, a, there's the rubric there, right there, and you will be able to submit it through this Canvas Dropbox. All your assignments, you can submit. It tells you how many points you get, tells you that you can submit a text entry or a file upload, and then so just click submit, find it on your machine, and give it to me, please every single project you give to me, make sure your name is in it and that web, like for week two, you're gonna say your name, photographic retouch. For week three, you're gonna say image manipulation and your name. So it's somewhere in the title, okay? But let's go back to here. So I'm gonna go backwards now to the canvas. Now, I want you to download the face and the photograph and then watch the four movies. And this is something that I really want you to do. So I'm only gonna start the first one for you. So when you go into this, you get my YouTube channel. Now, I'm gonna show you something in a second about my YouTube channel, okay? So let me, you'll hear me in a second, just start the movie, okay? So here. The movie that I have on my screen in front of you is actually the opening tutorial. Now, I'm stopping this movie because, remember, these movies were created for the fall and winter semesters. So don't get all panicky when you see all of these assignments that are due inside of here. You're going to only have, and I'll zoom back up here, you're going to only have these assignments due. So these eight assignments are different than these 12 or 11 assignments. Don't panic, okay? Just keep ongoing on the movie. Now, why, and I'm gonna advance the movie to a certain part. So, let me just play it. I haven't made them active yet, but this one does. Now see how, this I'm gonna stop it right now. See okay, I'm gonna go forward, forward, forward. Okay, so you're actually starting the page. Um, let me see where you actually start the assignment. That I have it linked. Let me go ahead. It's look like they did tell you numbers. Now I want to move this up so you can see what I'm talking about. Move it anywhere. All right, I'm going to go to the second the movie because I want you to understand how to um like it even says creating the web page layout. So you would start the number 2 movie and I'll just start it and then I want right. you to get Welcome used to, to this first um, 
Let me see if I can find it right here. This should be where you're opening Photoshop. So you see how there's see how there's nothing on the screen here? I want you to practice when you do the first web page assets movie. I want you to practice that you can stop and start this. You can even click backwards. So you can go say, well, what did he just say? So you can click backwards and you can go forwards to the to your heart's content. So when I do a step, let's just listen to me doing a step here. Define pattern. I let it stay with the name. So no, I would click okay. when you define a pattern, and you will do it once one step at a time, but get used to stopping my movies. You'll get used to it right away. But the way that I'm advising you to do this entire semester is let me do a step, pause it, and then you do a step. And then go back and hit the play button. So I did it all last night. So do the next gray, step. right here. Then I'm gonna go a lot Then pause it. Gray, then, then do the next and step hand, and pause go. it. Then do the next step and pause it. Awkward. And you will get um, you might even want to take notes just a little bit just so you can don't try to take a whole bunch of notes and I do say this too I've had many students say that they like to watch the entire movie all the way through which takes about 20 minutes and then you get more familiar with it okay and then start it over and do the steps and then it's not going to be so um, new of course okay so that's how I want you to really kind of play that game but Let's go from the web page assets. Um, before I do that, when you're done watching the movie and when you've completed the assignment and you've given it to me via the Dropbox, then go do the summary. Write the summary and you have to actually respond to somebody else's summary. Okay? And then in the first week, there's an introductory discussion forum and it's worth one point. Both of these are worth one point, so please do it. Now let's go to the second week. So in week two, and I won't do this for all eight weeks. <clears throat> in week two, this says watch the photographic retouching tutorial or tutorials. I should have put an S there. That's okay. So you're going to go to the photographic retouching tutorial, which in this case is only one movie. Okay? So here's the Dropbox for it. So when you're done, go to the top one, click it, hit the submit button, which you will have right up here, and you're good to go. All right, now let me go back. Uh, my dog is barking, so I'm gonna hit the pause button. Okay, let's hopefully I calmed her down. So now go in the second week, do the photographic retouch. Now it should go in order. So if we go to week three, you have image manipulation, down here in the modules, you have week three, which is image manipulation. It doesn't say week three, it just follows in order. It goes from image manipulation to 3D textures to character creation to the apple, which is the organic object. And each time you will see that I have, like in the character, I have a zip file, which means it'll put a folder on your desktop with all the files you need, all right? The organic one. It's an organic folder that'll give you my examples, my um, Photoshop file so you can see what it is and you can kind of examine my Photoshop file and then there's the three movies for it. There's the discussion board on the bottom and of course the Dropbox on the top and that was the organic one. So let's go down to the organic one here which is week six. So it follows in order and it should be pretty easy. Um, let me know if you have any issues Basically, once you're in Canvas, you should be good to go. Don't panic if by Sunday you don't have an assignment done. Just send me an email. Do you see the inbox here? You can click the inbox one. You can go right to compose a brand new email right there. And you can, since it's this class you're going in, you can choose the class. See, so you can go in here. I could choose the class right now and I could go into the class that is this class and I could click here and I would get a list of all the students, you're going to get a list of the teacher. And um, Sometimes I team teach with people or sometimes if I have a class subbed, which I won't have this class subbed, their name will appear here. But my name should appear if I click on teachers, there's Brian Sorio. So you click to Brian Sorio, type what your um, question is, and then you're good to go. Now, I also want to say that if you're having an issue, let me go backwards to the module. If you're having an issue with any assignment and you're not finished with it, please submit it to me. 
and then tell me in the submission, because you can write a little letter to me in there, Brian, I'm not done, but I'm having a problem with this step. I will actually create a movie for you. I will help you fix it. And then you watch the movie, you fix it. In fact, it would be neat to show you that. Um, I'm gonna go real fast here to my classes that I have. Let's go to the online class, the Canvas class. Now these are um, <clears throat> my students turned in material. So I'm gonna actually show you that I have the movies that I made for the students. So I'm gonna click this and show it by icon. And then you will see that here, um, I actually showed a student and I'll just open it up real quick. And then I'll just play it for a second. Hi, um, I just wanna give you a few pointers um, about the white around the outside of the apple or the light value I think you just should tone it down a little bit okay that's enough see how I did that well I will attach that to the email you can watch the fix right away and then you can get right back on track and that is a really cool thing about this whole process so even though I may be miles away even though I'm online I am not away from you and I want to handle this semester as if pretty much it could be an on-ground class, and it can be. Don't let any confusion of any assignment stop you. If it's about the web page assets, submit me your Photoshop file. Tell me what your issue is. I'll get you back on track with a little movie, and I'll probably respond to you within 24 hours, sometimes, most of the time, the same day, okay? So that's Canvas, and that is how to navigate through and around Canvas. And I'm going to go now on to the third movie. If I've forgotten anything in this movie about Canvas, um, <clears throat> I will um, bring it up in the third movie. There was, as I was just speaking right now, in the first day handout, um, I did tell you there's two ways that you can submit it to me. I would choose you to use the Dropbox submission in Canvas right here where I'm pointing, or it's a little confusing, but you can go to dropbox.com, which has nothing to do with Canvas, and set up, like I showed you, I think I showed you that in the first movie, set up how to make a Dropbox account and then share your file with me. But I'm gonna talk more about that because after the semester is over and you and I are working on your portfolio, you're going to submit things to me via Dropbox. And that includes any time, okay? Because obviously um, the Macomb email system, if we use the regular, um, right here I'm highlighting the regular Sorial B at macomb.edu. Can't get in there, yes I can, no I can't. Okay, whatever, because it wants me to click it but I don't want to click it. I just want to drag across it, but it's not letting me. Okay, whatever. So um, the story will be at macomb.edu. If you send me an email, there's a limit of 25 megabytes. So there's no limit on dropbox.com. You could send me a 500 megabyte file. And the wonderful thing about Canvas is that it can handle high memory intensive files. So if it's a 100 megabyte Photoshop file, no problem. Downloads in about 30 seconds, okay? So again, send me any questions and that's it and I'll see you in movie three.